Hi babes, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Christine, and today I am back with a very exciting new in H&M try on haul. I know I haven't done any other brand except for Zara in a long time. And by the fans, I am obsessed with Zara and I just love Zara. And I think you guys do too. So before doing another Zara haul, I was like, let me mix it up and do a different brand for once. So today we're doing H&M, which they have a lot of new in uh, cute pieces for autumn winter. So I figured it was the perfect time to share this new in collection with you guys. And hopefully you guys enjoy this H&M haul as well. If you want me to do any other brand, let me know down below in the comments because I do do Zara a lot. And it's just because I personally love doing Zara. But if there's any other brands you guys would love for me to do, then definitely let me know and I will do my best to make that happen. So without further ado, let's get started with this new in H&M try on haul. Let's go. I did film another video, which I wanted to post before this video, but the brand did ask me to post it a week later because they want me to promote their Halloween deals, which totally makes sense. So I think this video is going to go up first. So I did want to mention and tell you guys that I'm sorry for taking so long, but um, it was a crazy few months. So I am back. And as I said, let me know what you guys want me to film. Do you guys want any makeup hauls? Do you guys want any, want any tutorials? Any review of any products? Other brand try on hauls? Anything you want, please let me know down below. I do have a Curacao vlog as well, which is my uh, birthday slash little vacation I, I took in September. Fun story, I wanted to film my birthday and I actually didn't film anything the day of my birthday, <laughs> which is kind of, yeah, no comments. I was having a lot of fun, so in my defense, I was enjoying the moment and I kind of forgot to film the actual birthday day. I do have some footage that I'm gonna put in the vlog, but I don't have a real birthday vlog. I did film everything else around my trip, so, I'm gonna try and make it a fun Curacao vlog and hopefully you guys like that. But okay, I'm talking already way too much. Let's get started. I'm gonna start off with the first items, which is obviously the outfit that I'm wearing right now. So this is a rip knit half zip sweater. It does have a very relaxed fit. I got this in a size small. The website actually says that it does run a bit large. And it runs a bit long so I did tuck it into my jeans but as you can see it is pretty long however because it is autumn winter and it is a sweater I personally don't mind an oversized fit I actually love oversized I don't know if this is too long though it kind of feels like there's no shape to it so that's the only reason I'm not really obsessed with it. And indeed, it does run a bit large if I compare it to the other sweaters that I also got from H&M. Um, if I compare it to those, which you guys will see in a bit, this one does run larger. So just keep that in mind. So it does have a very high collar with this half zip. And you can just leave it like relaxed looking like this. And we do have heavily dropped shoulders. Um, and a long sleeve obviously so yeah I do love the relaxed look of it I am into this half zip as well and this big oversized collar which I just think makes it look a bit different than a basic regular sweater I also really love the color this beige is just a stunning color for autumn winter and I am pretty much obsessed with beige or any neutral earthy colors are just my vibe we also do have a slightly angled slit um, at the sides of the hem which again gives it a little extra detail which I think is a nice detail especially because it is so long this kind of helps um, with the fit of the sweater so yeah this is the first item let me know what you guys think as always I need your help I'm not gonna keep it all um, I do need some new sweaters I don't have a lot of sweaters weirdly enough I tend to buy other stuff and not like autumn winter basics if you know what i mean so i need some basics in my wardrobe because let's be realistic 
you're gonna be wearing a lot of sweaters and jumpers and hoodies and all of that good stuff next up I have these jeans I'm not sure about the fit of them um, I did get two sizes in these because when it comes to H&M I can never figure out my pants size normally in Zara I go for 36 and sometimes I have to go for 38 but usually the 38 is just way too loose I decided to just stick with the 38 I also have the 36 but I just left it in a box because having the 38 on I feel like the 36 is not gonna fit it does have a bit of a relaxed fit which I personally like I also love this color for autumn winter it's a bit darker than what I usually go for but I figured that darker colors just look nicer during this season so yeah these are the jeans this is the back I do love the way it looks in the back I think uh, yeah it looks nice the only thing is it's really gapy in the back because it is a 38 so that's the only problem I have but around my bum uh, and hips area it fits me perfectly so this is a full length for you guys to see the jeans we do have a regular fit from waist to hip and then from tie to hem we have a straight white cut so I kind of really love the cut and the way they fit the length is also perfect for me and I do really love the way it looks in the back it's just a shade that it's so gapy but I don't really mind it it's just more of a comfortable like relaxed fit and I'm actually fine with that unfortunately it does have a zip fly with buttons I prefer a zipper instead of buttons just because it's way easier especially when you need to go to the bathroom the jeans are actually 36 euros um, I'm not sure if I feel like they're worth the price or maybe they are I mean 36 is not bad for a pair of jeans actually yeah, I don't mind them and the price is kind of nice. So again, let me know what you guys think. Should I keep these or are they not it? Let's go to the next item. So I have another half zip sweater on. This is a chunky knit half zip sweater. How beautiful is this? I love a chunky knit. It does have a relaxed fit and it has a chunky soft wool blend. So it is a very soft fabric and it's not itchy at all, which I love. And it's very important when it comes to sweaters because some sweaters are just very itchy and we don't want that. So I love this one. Again, in a size small, I'm kind of doubting if I should have gotten the size medium just because I'm not sure if it is a bit too fitted. However, I do love this a whole lot more compared to the other half zip sweater just because I love this chunky knit detail. I think it's just more unique and I think it's more comfortable as well. So we do have a ribbing in the collar the cuffs and the hem so another beautiful detail drop shoulders again and obviously you have this high collar with a half zip which again stunning detail you can layer this with other items and it will look super cute so yeah i do love this one i think this is a keeper and a great like statement to my wardrobe like a good sweater to have for colder days when you just want to Put something cute on and look cute next up I have this gray knit set so I do have this fitted gray knit skirt on it does have a elastic waistband it is high-waisted so we also have this ribbing detail at the waistband and at the hem down here <laughs> and the sweater also has the exact same ribbing detail at the cuffs the hem and the neckline we have a rounded neckline and a straight hem the skirt I got an extra small and the sweater I got in a size small however I feel like this fits like an extra small it's so tight it's definitely not an oversized fit so if you're into a more tight fitted sweater then this is one for you I personally hate the way it fits I feel like it's suffocating me. I just want it to be way bigger. All by all, the sweater is definitely going back. I do like the skirt. It fits me really nice. The extra small is perfect. If you want oversized, then definitely size up. If you want fitted and looking nice, then stick to your size. How beautiful is this trench coat? It is a coated trench coat it has like this crocodile pattern it is vegan leather so don't worry i think this is beautiful i feel so glam so elegant and yet edgy with this coat on i think this is stunning 
it's 90 euros and I feel like 90 euros is not bad at all because the quality is pretty nice I got this in a size small and finally I can say that the small is the perfect size it is oversized enough but yet it is looking nice on the body I just love the way this fits the sizing is just perfection when it comes to this trench coat so I love so we do have a wide snotched um, lapel which I love this detail we also have a removable tie belt at the waist so if you want you can leave it on and put it like this which is cinching in your waist I love this detail or you could just take it off whatever you prefer we also have concealed snap fasteners in the front which I am pretty much obsessed with it snaps so easy into place like I wish my jackets had this because this is the best thing ever like look at that it literally snaps into place I don't even have to think about it sometimes I'm walking around with my jackets and it's like a struggle to button up my jacket when it's so cold so having this on my jacket is ideal we also have shoulder pads I'm not sure if I mentioned that already but love so all by all, I think this is just beautiful. How cool is this? I am pretty much surprised that I like it this much. I'm normally not a fan of like a coated, like crocodile pattern jacket or trench coat in this case, but this I kind of dig. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. You do have um, slits at the sides of the hem. Are you guys seeing? I don't even, yeah over here <laughs> you have it on both sides so yeah how pretty is this oh and the length i think it's the perfect length for me as well we also have side pockets okay now i am definitely obsessed can it get any better than this i don't think so i think this is like a must have piece from H&M. So this is the next uh, black outfit. I have this very sexy lace bodysuit on. We do have um, snap fasteners at the bottom so it makes it super easy to go to the bathroom. It is however a full lace bodysuit which means that it is see-through. I personally don't have like big boobs or any boobs at all um, and I'm very pale so I feel like when I wear nipple covers you can still clearly see it through the outfit so in my case this is not gonna work with nipple covers I would have to think about a different way on how to wear this lace bodysuit so if you guys have any ideas for me please let me know down in the comments personally I feel like if you have bigger boobs and maybe darker skin that you could definitely pull this bodysuit off with nipple covers um, because I feel like I'm so pale it's super obvious when I have nipple covers on and because obviously I don't have boobs so I feel like if you do have bigger boobs and you have darker skin you can definitely pull this bodysuit off um, but if you guys have any ideas for me definitely let me know in the comments we do have a V neckline in the front and in the back it's the same v-neckline so all by all i think it's a beautiful bodysuit i got this in a size extra small and it definitely fits me nice the only problem i have with the sizing is it's not a tongue bodysuit so it is a full like bottom bodysuit which i personally don't like i think it's so ugly when you can see the lines of your bodysuit in your pants or in your skirt so personally i prefer a thong bodysuit and because it's not a thong bodysuit i feel like it's a bit too tight in the extra small but if it was a thong bodysuit the extra small would have been fine i just have a bigger bum so if you give me like a full bottom bodysuit it's gonna be tight down there so that's the problem i have with the bodysuit so let's move on to these beautiful trousers i got this um, white leg coated trouser I do love the way these fit I got this in a size 36 and I can definitely say that it fits me kind of perfect it is a very comfortable fitting pant so these are high-waisted we do have a zip fly a concealed button and a hook and bar fastening so a lot going on here we also have side pockets which I love I love a side pocket and we have back welt pockets so all by all, it does fit me really nice for a 36. I'm kind of surprised that the fit is this good because normally a 36 um, in H&M would be too tight. So I am definitely happy with the fit of these and the length is also perfect. I feel like H&M does the perfect length trousers for my length. Uh, I feel like Zara always is extremely long and I feel with H&M, I'm always happy with the length. So 
that's a bonus point when it comes to buying stuff from H&M if you are a bit shorter like me. You guys know what will look amazing with this outfit? That trench coat I just showed you guys. Hold on. This is gonna look so good. Black on black is just so sexy. This is giving me boss bitch energy. <laughs> How gorgeous are these together? I love that you can see the lace peeking out and it's giving you a bit of sexy detail. And yeah, very glam, elegant. Black is just always a vibe. I feel like I'm ready to go act in a movie <laughs> where I am the main character. Yeah, I just think this is so cool. I am obsessed with this a tapered waist blazer. I think this looks so cool. It's giving me that boss babe, boss bitch energy, which I love. I think this is just amazing. I am kind of surprised that I like it this much because I was not really expecting much when I ordered this blazer. However, the quality is wonderful. I love that it has these big shoulder pads. It's giving it structure. And also we have a very tiny small waist because it has this tapered waist with shaping darts in the front and in the back. So beautiful details. It is a single breasted blazer and it has this beautiful woven fabric. And I think the fabric is very nice. It's giving me quality. It's giving me comfortability. It's giving me energy and that's what we love and adore. We also have pointed lapels and it has this one single button here in the front. I am obsessed. It's just the, the vibe, the energy that this is giving me is everything. It's kind of making me feel like I am that boss bitch. So yeah, I love this. It is a size small and the fit is just perfect. I love the length. It's not too long. I just love everything about it. You can also leave the button open and then you can just wear it as a regular blazer. But I think it looks really nice when you just close this button because of that. Ooh the tapered waist detail. I think this is what makes the blazer so cool. Like the combination of the big oversized chunkiness on the top and then that small waist down here, the combination of those two. I feel like the juxtaposition is just really cool in this blazer. So I am a fan. This might be my favorite sweater so far. And I think from this whole haul, just because I love this gray color with this detailing here in the middle, I think it's just a very unique sweater. I mean, it's kind of basic, but it has unique features to it. So I definitely love this. The fabric is lovely. It's so soft. I feel very warm and comfortable in this. So imagine those cold days wearing this sweater. A dream so it is a wool sweater so very comfortable we do have like this turned sleeve detail which I think is a beautiful detail I love how you have like this black detailing going all the way up the sleeves and in the middle I think that is what really sold me to this sweater it just looks different you do have a turtleneck as well so again very cozy and comfortable for those cold cold days yeah, I just love this and it's very oversized. This is actually an oversized sweater. So in this case, the size small is actually perfect. So this is how I want my sweaters to fit oversized. I mean, in H&M's defense, this one does say oversized and the other ones did not. So lesson learned, I need to just size up if it doesn't say oversized. And if it does, then I can just stick to my own size. So yeah, I love this. I love, love, love the sleeves. I think they are so cool. You also have this slit here at the hem on both sides. And it is kind of like a bit longer in the back compared to the front. So all by all, I really like this. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think about this one. I think this is my favorite sweater so far. Before I take this off, I feel like for this kind of sweater with such a high turtleneck, where my neck is kind of completely gone, I do need to wear my hair up like this. Like imagine wearing this sweater and then having your hair up like this. I think this looks so cute. This is a vibe. So yeah. Just wanted to pop it and tell you guys that. So I decided to put my hair up just to show you guys this lace bodysuit a bit better. Um, obviously, I still have my nipple covers on, but 
they're not really nice to show so I'm just gonna keep it like this but yeah how pretty is this bodysuit especially with this beautiful draped satin skirt so next up I have this beautiful satin skirt to show you guys it is a very unique skirt I love the length on this I do love the fabric and the size is perfect I got a size 36 and it fits me like a dream so we do have a concealed zipper in the back and a hook and eye fastening as well it is a high-waisted skirt so i love that we have this beautiful draped detailing in the front with pleats and also a slit here at in the front at the hem so all by all it has beautiful detailing i think it's a very elegant very flowy, very comfortable skirt. And I feel like this skirt matches so nicely with this bodysuit and like with your hair up. It's just really sexy. It's giving me like glam, elegant, sexy vibes. And I'm kind of into it. Let me know what you guys think about the skirt and just this lace bodysuit. I'm kind of loving the lace bodysuit more and more. I just need to figure out how to wear it because I don't like wearing it with these nipple covers. Um... So yeah, that's the only thing. But yeah, let me know. So cute. This dress is so pretty. So I have this fitted draped dress on, black dress. And yeah, it's just hugging my body. It isn't a size extra small and the sizing is just perfection. So we have these vertical gatherings here in the front, which is giving your body such a beautiful shape. Like the silhouette of this dress is just incredible. And it's all thanks to those vertical gatherings in the front. You also have a slit here in the front at the hem. I think this dress is so beautiful. I love the low V-cut neckline. It's not too low. It's not too deep. I don't have big boobs. So for me, a low cut V is actually perfect. And we also have dolman sleeves. For people who don't know, that means that the sleeves are wider at the top and then they narrow down as you pass your elbow and then more towards your wrist. So again, a beautiful detail. All by all, I think this is so beautiful and I'm in love with this dress. I cannot believe it's so cheap. Like, it's a beautiful price. The quality is nice and... It has long sleeves, so you can also wear this for autumn. I just love the silhouette. It's giving me hips. It's giving me waist. And I'm just looking very nice. And yeah, I'm feeling it. I'm looking at the silhouette here in my camera. And is that me? I, like, <laughs> I look so good. I almost forgot because I have a pair of heels and... A bracelet to show you guys and I tend to forget when I get accessories I haven't opened this up yet so let's try and open it up together I don't want to break the package oh it's already broken I feel like these kind of packages are just so annoying because they break so easy that looks cute okay I'm not gonna take all of this off because I'm not sure if I want to keep it but that looks very sexy I got a size 37 which is my normal shoe size i'm not sure if that helps you guys with anything but this looks so nice it feels beautiful quality though oh it looks really sexy i'm kind of into pointy toes now i don't own any pointy heel shoes at the moment so these might be a great addition let me see if you guys can see that in the mirror probably can that looks so nice. It's comfortable, guys. Look at that. I just love that buckle detail and the silver detailing. I'm kind of into silver now, um, if it was not obvious. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. I think these look very sexy, and I don't have any heel that looks like this. So these might be a keeper. These are cute. I like these. And I also got this golden bracelet, like a bangle. And I think this looks so pretty. How unique is that? I just love the details on this. I love a bangle in general. Like I'm getting more and more into accessories. Um, and I'm just feeling the bangles. The bangles life is life. How pretty is that? I like it. And I also love this golden, like, bronzy, metallic color. It's not too yellowy, and it just looks really, really unique. 
and I think it's so cute. This is another wool blend sweater. I love the color, this cream combined with the black detailing that goes all the way from the sleeves to the neckline and then down the other sleeve. I think it's just a beautiful detail. It makes a basic cream um, sweater look a bit different because of the black detailing. We do have a rounded ripped neckline, which I love that rib detailing. Also long raglan sleeves and a white ribbing detail at the hem. So all by all, I think it's a beautiful jumper. I did get this in a size small as well. Personally, I do feel like this fits a bit more looser, a bit more comfortable compared to, for example, the gray one, which was really fitted. I do think the sizing on this is way better. It's not an oversized fit. However, it is a true to size, size small. However, I do think I prefer a size medium because I personally would love this to be a bit more oversized. I do love the size small, but I just love oversized life <laughs> last but certainly not least i am obsessed with this set it's such a beautiful color and the fabric is very soft the quality is insane so it is a rip knit set we have this beautiful mermaid skirt which is hugging my body in definitely the right ways you guys can see how my booty is looking back there it is just insane it does have an elastic waistband. It is fitted up here and then it flares at the bottom. So such a beautiful mermaid skirt. Look at my bum. I mean, I'm sorry, but how beautiful is that skirt? I think I might need to just keep this skirt because I'm not sure about the sweater, but the skirt, I'm 1000% convinced that this skirt is just stunning. How pretty is that? I just love this and it's not too long. It's the perfect length. So we obviously have the matching sweater. So the sweater has a mock turtleneck and we have gently dropped sleeves and they're obviously long sleeves and tapered to the cuff. This is a size small. It is a fitted sweater. I personally don't love a fitted sweater, but that's just my personal preference. Some people love fitted sweaters and that's also beautiful. So Definitely buy whatever makes you feel happy and the most comfortable. So those were the last two items and that was it guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this H&M try on haul for autumn winter. I loved a lot of these pieces. I am pretty much surprised and obsessed at the same time if that makes sense. I am personally more of a Zara girly instead of H&M because I feel like H&M sometimes is just not giving me what I need. So I'm not really a big fan in general of H&M, but sometimes I feel like they do some great pieces. So in this case, I'm pretty much happy. And I feel like for like basics, H&M is always good. I feel like H&M definitely has you covered when it comes to that. But yeah, those were all of the pieces, guys. Definitely, definitely let me know down in the comments which of these items was your favorite and which one I should keep. You guys need to help me as always. It is a struggle. I cannot choose. And even if I do, I keep changing my mind. So I really need your guys' help to let me know which item was your favorite on me. And obviously, I would love to know which one was your own favorite as well. I would also love for you guys to give this video a big thumbs up. If you have not subscribed yet, I would love for you guys to subscribe to my channel. Hit that bell so you can stay notified whenever I upload my next video. And of course, I will be seeing you guys real soon in my next upcoming videos. Stay tuned for more and I love you guys. Bye!